absolutely no one signed up for this. Like, absolutely no one, not a single soul, signed up to watch me eat donuts and cry. <laughs> but, here we are. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, friends, and welcome to round four of moving out. I I don't know how this has come around so quickly, but it's fourth year. Anyway, let me just set you down. The sun is really just an unpaid actor that no one asked for today. I have so much stuff. I mean, like, fair enough, I'm taking a little bit more than usual because I'm there for like the entire year. That's actually a good point. If you don't know who I am, a mess, really, if we need to sum it up in one word. But um, I'm a uh, fourth year now, med student at Cambridge, um, struggling, struggling, struggling. My sister cut my hair yesterday. Um, and it's that length where it curls up at the ends and I look like Miss Hooley. I swear I didn't ask her to cut that much off, but here we are. Moving on a Sunday is always a bad idea because shops close early and stuff, but this time especially because my course starts tomorrow. I'm gonna go and get breakfast and then, oh thank god, and then we can set about organising this into the car somehow and praying that it fits. It's all gone. I'm gonna take my scrapbooking stuff and pretend like I'm gonna do anything in my like journal thingy, which I probably won't because I'll probably be too lazy and won't have time, but we're here. Very different, very different vibe. I just look ridiculous. We went to Tesco, my dad left, I've just had a nice cry, I might just carry on. I'm just really stressed about everything. Um. So it's not going well. I'm gonna get started because I have so much cleaning to do. Um, I wanna like disinfect everything and it's 4 p.m. I look and feel like a little child, but I'm just sad. I don't know why I spent that entire clip talking from like this angle with my lovely like quadruple chin. Um, it's been like five minutes. I'm still on the verge of a breakdown, but... <laughs> But I'm telling myself it's gonna be fine and I just turned on TikTok and Taylor was playing and I feel happy now. I feel happy. <laughs> I really don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. I feel like I should just turn this off because every time I start talking I cry so I think if I just don't talk, absolutely no one signed up for this. Like, absolutely no one, not a single soul, signed up to watch me eat donuts and cry. <laughs> but here we are welcome to my channel there are many levels to my sadness which i'm not going to go into but um one one additional piece that's really throwing me over the edge is the fact that i look like miss hooley again it's 9 p.m i'm sweating i am literally exhausted and this is the state of my room I want nothing more than to get into bed, but I can't because there's a whole load of crap on my bed. In good news though, in, in other happy news, um, oh, because I've literally been running around like a headless chicken trying to get all of this done and listening to music, I've had no time to wallow in self-pity and honestly now I'm just too tired to to care so at least we're in a better mood um i literally feel like death itself and the worst thing is i need to be up at like i want to say half seven i feel like that'll give me enough time to like get my life together before things start oh my god i'll hopefully actually do a room tour but um yeah that <laughs> we're just not gonna talk about that um, I mean, it's pretty, I was gonna say it's pretty done. It's not. I'm, I'm just looking at it and no, it's not. But, um, I mean, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to because, I mean, I've lived in the same room for two years straight. 
in Cambridge um it's different we're we're vibing we're vibing honestly I'm just dead exhaust dead good morning of course it's been a mad rush because I am tired but I've got my coffee we've just had like an introductory zoom meeting um and now we've got like a few pre-recorded sessions to watch which i'm doing at like 1.5 speed i'm trying not to think about anything because if i think about something too long i'm gonna start crying i don't have internet here yet because it's coming today um which means that i'm streaming everything off of mobile data um and shockingly the the connection here is not great so I'm so ready for a nap. <laughs> um, I actually can't see. We've basically just had a bunch of like introduction stuff. Um, and we had a talk by a patient, which was actually like I related to it so much. Um, it's just really interesting because like listening to a patient talking about their experiences with doctors, like I related to a lot of it so much because their thoughts that I've had as a patient as well, and like I can see how if you haven't had that experience from the patient's perspective like you wouldn't know what it's like to be in that position which is like one thing that i have going for me as like a doctor med student whatever because i know what's made me feel uncomfortable not uncomfortable but just eh, in the past as a patient okay Wait, um it on. looks like we've got a reasonable um number so i have the internet if you get the reference, I mean, it's not a direct reference, but it's that bit in the office, not the office, um, the IT crowd, where she's like, I am literally holding the internet. I am literally holding the internet with my level of IT knowledge. I may as well be Jen. Um, I need to set this up and I thought it would be funny if you came along. I will probably end up just quitting and calling my dad after work, but the thing is, I've learned more and more about myself since applying for medicine at the age of like what 17 um over the past however many years and i've just realized that i just don't think i'm cut out for this these are exactly the situations which i deal with very badly i don't want to be in people's way and like i don't want to annoy people by asking a bunch of stupid questions like i have no idea what i'm doing blah 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 um and it's just the fact that like I, I just feel like I'm gonna be in the way and that will probably mean that I'm not gonna say anything at all and probably I will come across as rude not because I don't care but because I'm terrified I, I have a whole to-do list that's not for today because I am overwhelmed I'm stressed and I just I was on the verge of having a panic attack earlier so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that we're just gonna unpack the internet um I'm not gonna unpack my kitchen I've literally gone red okay cool not gonna lie though this room has definitely grown on me like it's just so homely i really want to get like a sun catcher is that what it's called i don't know but like one of those crystal-y things that i can hang up because in the afternoons the sun like comes around and like i don't know if you, you definitely can't tell but there's like loads of like patches of sun in here and if it hits one of those crystal thingies that makes like rainbows and stuff it would look so pretty welcome to your new broadband kit well thank you very much cool if you're wondering why i got self-assembly by the way it's because this was done so last minute i can do it myself um we'll we'll find out if that's the case i don't know what this means what is this wall socket okay I don't need an ethernet cable. What's it called? The thing in the wall. Um, and my dad was like, is it gonna reach your room? And I'm like, what, what do you mean? Um, so it's gonna be very funny if I still don't have internet here. Okay, which I take it is this, cause it has a red. I'm really glad that they labeled these things with colorful, um, tape because lord knows I'm too stupid to figure it out otherwise um, the red banded end is pushed 
Oh, they even labelled it at an end, so I know. Coming to you from a lovely backlit angle with weird streaks of light. Anyway, welcome to the living room. I already forgot the instructions, that's useful. I don't know if I was supposed to connect that to the... Oh yeah. Oh, that's why it says wall socket. Because <laughs> connect it to the wall. Wow. I did it. I hope. We'll, we'll soon find out if it works, but I'm just gonna leave it doing its stuff for a bit. I decided that I am actually gonna join the meeting because I feel bad, because I haven't told anyone that I'm not doing it. It's for Enra, it's like the volunteering-y thingy that I do. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna be talking about this week. I know there's something to do with- The great doctor who treats the patient who has the disease. And this morning, medical management will get on Good morning. I'm a bit stressed this morning. I'm trying to figure out when I'm gonna get everything done, but the days are so packed that it's just hard. Um, today's really, really busy. There's like an hour for lunch in which I'm gonna try and make myself clean the kitchen so that I can put everything away, but whether I actually do that is a very big question mark. I'm tired. I think I need another coffee. This morning we've had a intro session to clinical communication skills. I am terrified. <laughs> the thing is, I don't think I lack, no actually I do, I think I just lack basic communication skills. Um, the next one is introduction to professional responsibilities. We have another parcel. Um, I just, basically we got let off to watch a bunch of videos, like introductions to like the professionalism stuff. It is so hot outside. I did not realise, I opened the door and it was like heat. I guess this room is good in the summer. I feel like it's going to be freezing in the winter. Um, because I literally could not tell. I might reshuffle my plans a little bit just so I can maybe go out on a walk later today because I feel really bad, like I'm really wasting. I severely hope that these are the right ones because if not, I might actually cry. Well, this is the best we're gonna get at right now. I mean, I've put, I put a bunch of stuff away. There's nothing really on the floor. I still need to like basically wipe a ton of stuff down why do i keep seeing single magpies honestly it's like it's trying to tell me something i have like two minutes until my next thing so i'm just gonna so you've seen after already who else might join us which really describes the scenario because i have in-person teaching today at papworth um which means that i can't look like my brain actually isn't working right now so i can't think of a comparison but you know you get the gist at least Okay, that was, that was not good. Um, I was saying at least all the sessions are on Zoom so I can like make food and stuff. I'm feeling a lot more human now that I have contacts in because those glasses make me look like a fictional character and we all know which one. Um, but we have like a 10 minute break so I'm gonna take the opportunity to continue. Our session is about our like student selected component. So we have like a six week thing where it's essentially kind of like clinical research um, in an area that interests us. Um, and I just had a brainwave during the session. People were putting ideas of like what they want to do. There's like a list. I need to go through the list and see if someone would be able to do this with me. But beforehand, I was like, I have absolutely no idea. But I actually feel like this could be interesting if I can find someone that could do it. I would love to research. I don't know what kind of research would be possible though as well. So I might end up not doing this and like changing it. Because I mean like it depends it depends what i would be doing but i feel like it would be really interesting to research kind of psychological or psychiatric consequences in children especially of having other diseases or um like treatments etc etc and like whether like how that can impact 
immediately or like even in later life your like psychological psychiatric psyche the most pressing issue right now is i need to buy work clothes because i have none um i need to have them for friday i really left this way too last minute but i'm ready to go ready is a strong word um i just realized oh med school is all just costing a lot of money like i just had to quickly order like trousers and shoes and then i realized that actually i'm probably going to need comfier shoes for wards and stuff so that's even more money textbooks honestly don't get me started anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna go because i'm probably gonna be late anyway i have no idea where i'm going good evening it is way too hot gee i'm sweating it's it's what 7 p.m it is so hot outside i was just walking and i'm like just been to the hospital um it was just like an introductory session with our supervisor for like clinical examinations um so we were just talking about what we're gonna do now i have prep work to do <laughs> for tomorrow because tomorrow is like tomorrow is like the first day of a day in the life of a junior doctor essentially um is what they've called it it's basically kind of five i want to say days of activities rather than just talks so tomorrow i have one thing that's like completing these modules that i haven't done yet um about safeguarding and then we have a session with some fifth years about clinical examinations for cardio um so yeah i'm gonna read up on that and before i forget i just wanted to mention these i'm gonna move this out of the way because it's annoying me um so a company called happy plugs a while ago really really kindly sent me some um earphones and they are so cool um i thought i'd share them with you because i really like them so they come in this little these ones are the um air one a and c i think yes they are um they come in this little case it has like a little chargey thingy um and little dots that tell you things um there's a whole instruction manual um and yeah you just this is what they look like you definitely can't see but like um so essentially they're just wireless headphones their whole company thing um is kind of just like stylish functional headphones they have some really really cool looking like sleek not headphones sorry earphones on there um you can like tap them um for different like command functions like pausing skipping volume all that kind of stuff there's like a whole as i said there's a whole manual um but yeah i really really like them um they gave me a discount code really kindly that you can use um which i will put on the screen right now and also i'll put it in the description box i will link happy plugs in the description box as well if you want to go check them out would highly recommend if you're looking for some headphones that are really similar to some other headphones that are sold but much cheaper um so yeah I don't know whether to make an iced coffee. I got a bit optimistic there about my water drinking abilities. Um, I feel like I should eat. Not really that hungry though. I'll see what I've got in the fridge. Come with me. This vlog is actually potentially the most boring thing I've ever filmed. You know, I thought I really finished this but it's not coming out <laughs> i mean like i'm not gonna lie that does look cool like it looks so pretty it's like a little dessert but i don't think it's gonna be very edible because i just realized they're like very frozen i'm gonna have to wait for them to thaw a bit so besties i found something that i know so we have a session next week on musculoskeletal gals um examinations um and i just searched it up and i'm like this i am basically a pro this is i get this done every single time i turn up to hospital maybe i should have actually paid attention when she was doing this to me but like this is gonna be such a long year 
I have just wasted so much of my time doing something that I didn't even need to do for like for tomorrow necessarily. I have thoroughly studied. Thoroughly is not the right word. I still don't know what's going on. No, actually that's such a lie. I know a little bit more of what's going on, but I still don't really get it. But anyway, um I was supposed to be looking over cardiovascular exams, um, like to do in clinics. I got sucked down a little wormhole of um because part of it was like you gotta listen to heart sounds, right? And I was like, I can't remember where you listen to the heart sounds, so I started looking it up and now I have a whole um a whole document that I've made for myself um because I remembered this TikTok that I watched that was like breath sounds by this nurse um TikTok is so educational guys um which I saved to my phone so I watched that and I typed that up and then she had one for heart sounds so I was like oh interesting but then I couldn't really hear it properly so I went on YouTube I'm boring people to death but all this is well and good but like I still haven't watch the video of how to actually do the exam so and it's half past 10 and i haven't eaten you know what the good thing however with this whole situation is that because i am just absolutely terrified um of wards doctors nurses everyone thinking i'm stupid um and embarrassing myself I'm actually, I'm actually doing the work. Like, I'm actually going to do the work. Also, the fact that I don't want to mess up with patients, that would be, that would also be one of, one of the points to make. But, um, yeah, you would not catch me doing this in pre-clin, would you really? So... so tired i have like a headache i woke up with a headache um i woke up late also i mean this morning i have no zoom meetings or anything so it's kind of like do it in your own time um i i did miss the first thing um it was scheduled for like 9 a.m i mean miss it's pre-recorded so i can watch it whenever it's just a bit annoying because like now i have to watch it this evening i'm currently just doing my safeguarding learning thingy um i paused because i got my delivery of my work trousers which i need to buy more of but i just bought one pair um for now because i urgently need them um the more i look at them the more i'm like they really don't fit around the waist but they fit my hips i think for the most part um and they're actually really comfy and i feel so professional like i can't lift my leg that high that's quite concerning um good afternoon <laughs> as i mentioned today hasn't been as busy um it's now like 5 p.m but i still have a ton of stuff to do um so we had our cardio exam teaching with some fifth years which was actually like really useful um and i'd obviously read over everything beforehand so i pretty much like knew what was going on which is good um but there was just like a few extra bits that actually made it make a lot more sense um tonight i've got to go over the resp stuff um so that'll be fun and then that's that's probably going to take ages again but i actually need to make myself food first because i just i'm i'm so lazy i can't be bothered to make it so i just won't eat yay for me i'm finished at 10 p.m. today and not midnight um yeah i'm i'm done i'm done i've read through 
the notes on how to do a respiratory exam i've watched the video i don't like it as much as the cardio one i think it's just because i know less about like lung issues than i do heart issues not that i know a lot about heart issues but this one's also just really really long and really confusing i think right now i might just carry on watching i watched like two episodes of dairy girls today um whilst I was eating, which was good fun. I'm just drained and I didn't even do that much today. I've got to be quick because I've got to leave, of course. Um, but don't we look professional? I'm a bit like, I haven't worn smart clothes like this since sick form. It's so weird. Like I wore this top to sick form. Anyway, um, I'm gonna walk to the hospital. I'm a little bit stressed out. Like, I don't know what to bring. I don't know what we need. I'm guessing nothing. Cause like, I think we're learning how to like do PPE and like scrub in and whatever. So, should be fine, but wish me luck. I do not have time for this. Um, I'm back. It's like 20 past one. My teaching session is in 10 minutes. Um, I've got, I mean, it's like breakfast food. I should have eaten before I left, but I didn't, um, which was stupid. The practical skills thing was actually really fun. Like, I mean, I'm probably going to be mortified when I actually have to do it for real. Basically, we just learned like aseptic techniques, um, surgical scrubbing and stuff. Um, and I think like when I actually have to do it, it's going to be terrifying because like, I don't want to give someone an infection. Um, but just like being able to practice like making a saline flush and stuff was so fun i don't know who trusts me with a needle but we got this chunky like practical skills workbook thing that just like talks through everything terrifying the fact that i'm gonna have to like do catheterization is terrifying to me the fact that so much of this can go wrong is terrifying to me um, and then we have to get it signed off. I hate asking people for things. Like, I hate asking people for help. I hate asking people to do stuff for me. It stresses me out and makes me uncomfortable. Um, and like, this whole thing is like, hi, could you watch me do this? And then sign me off, like, Anyway, um, that's a problem for not right now. But I can safely say I am enjoying this so much more than preclinical. I mean, it's been like five days, but I think it's the fact that I much prefer the content because the actual whole setup of clinical years is terrifying to me. Like I much prefer the, the idea of preclinical where it's just like sit down and learn it. But obviously it's also much more interesting actually learning about patients and like disease and like how to do stuff rather than just sitting there and learning about the Krebs cycle um so that was very poor hand washing from me really um I'm making more food I am exhausted we have a session it was great again um I feel like the thing with this is like it's zoom like, you can't do anything over Zoom. So, like, okay, theoretically, I, I understand what's going on. But, like, it's not the same thing. Like, for example, you have to feel the lymph nodes. And, like, I was trying. I was really trying to feel my own lymph nodes. And I'm just like, I don't know what they're supposed to feel like. I don't know what I'm doing, basically. But I think we have, like, in-person teaching at some point for that anyway, obviously. So, that should be fine. Um, I'm going to bed um i decided if i want to like so what i was gonna do was copy finish copying over stuff from the geeky medics website for these two exams that we learned um into one note all i was doing was like copying it over i'm gonna make my own proper notes this weekend hopefully um i might do that later if i feel like it but right now i just i, I don't I'm done, I'm done. So I'm going to bed and I'm going to have a great time. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I feel like I might just read. I don't know. There's not really anything on Netflix. So I need to work on my mental 
outlook. Um, I feel like if I told myself, and I'm trying, believe me, um, that I'm gonna be fine, and that everything's gonna be fine, and that I'm perfectly capable of talking to people, and that I'm perfectly capable of like not being super awkward, and what's gonna be fine, and everything's gonna be fine, rather than what I've been doing up to this point all week, which is panicking profusely like i'm just really worried let me just let me just okay i'm feeling shit i woke up with a migraine today which is which is real great um it's it's the afternoon now obviously by the way i'm trying to make myself feel better with an iced coffee and yeah to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna do anything today um and that brings us beautifully to the close of this video because i am just I, am, I think i'm just gonna start a new one for next week it'll probably just be exactly the same me complaining but um yeah thank you so much for watching this video and putting up with me um if you liked it do give it a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel i'm sure i'll be making lots more fabulous clinical school content um yeah that's about it really so i'll see you in my next video Ciao. bye